In this episode, I want to talk to you about creating an amazing music video to promote your songs. Let's do this. I spent the last 14 years playing over a thousand shows, touring 22 different countries and become a top 40 billboard charting artist. I fired my record label to go out on my own as an independent artist to market and release my own music, selling thousands of albums and millions of streams. The question I always get is, how did I do it without a label and sell even more music? This podcast is here to show you the way. Join me and follow along as I learn, apply, and share marketing strategies to grow my music business in a loyal fan base. Hey, what's going on, guys? Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Whenever you're listening to this, it's Chris here, Manifest Smart Music Business. What's up? I'm just scheduled a music video shoot with my buddy Chris. My buddy Chris Stacy. he's one of my longtime friends who's uh, done music videos for me. And we've probably shot 27, 28 music videos. We're gonna have to count them when we go to shoot this next one. But we've done a lot of music videos and shot them in multiple different countries, done all kinds of crazy stuff. We've rented rain towers. We've rented lots of different cars and we've rented locations we've done guerrilla shooting where we've climbed up on top of a helicopter pad in la done a lot of guerrilla shooting we've been kicked out of multiple places and uh, just kind of seen it all we've hired actors you know i've been trained by ninjas for these like mma fighter dudes for my music video bring the ruckus where i had a stunt double and just all kinds of crazy fun stuff we've had pyro with guys with flamethrowers for my uh, music video renegade so needless to say we've shot a lot of different music videos and had a lot of fun doing it and I do encourage you to shoot a music video to promote your songs and the reason I say that is is because when you have a great music video it's like you performing your song 24 7 and it can go where no artist can go <laughs> kind of like Star Trek line there but no seriously um you know your music video can be working for you performing your song for you 24 7 it gets the best angles it gets the best lighting and it's your best take because it's the master <laughs> and so you know it's a good recording and so it's just really giving the best image and portrayal of your song and and that's what a music video should do it should amplify your song even more the message the story and just the song itself to get it out to more people right but that thing can be running on youtube that thing can be running on facebook you can obviously you know pitch it to tv film places are like those programs that you know play music videos um obviously blogs there's so many different places that you can promote it there's actually different companies that you can hire that will promote your music video and even get them on those um like in those stores like journeys or uh what's that other one pack sun and sometimes like billiard like pool areas where you can have your music videos playing in those little tvs and in, in the different stores and stuff we've had that and hired that and it's again just more exposure more exposure you know that's actually a little expensive for what you get but you can do it for the mass exposure but when it comes to shooting a music video because we're planning to shoot another one and my buddy chris is really great at just angles he's good at framing it up and it's so funny because like what i think will look good he's like "Eh, no that's not cool man and uh he just has that eye you know and um he's always really good at lighting and just making it look good and really just one thing i'll say he always gets a close-up a medium shot and then a far away so he can cut different angles and he's always moving too i always notice he's always like kind of moving around me so he has lots of different uh, angles to cut to so you don't stay on a certain shot too long and i noticed that with amateur music videos with artists is that the director you know just didn't edit it properly didn't get enough content and it just stays on a shot too long and people get bored and you know the way it's just even edited man like you got to keep it moving you got to keep it interesting and lots of you know cool b-roll that like works with it and stuff like that but what we've seen the most um impact out of all the music videos we've done is the location and getting a killer killer location and sometimes that's free because you just fly there or you just go there or you just find a spot like one time we were able to get a roof of a building for free one time we decided to go to japan and we just had all these insane locations and just kind of film some music videos in places that you know north america and, and and whatnot had never seen before it just made it a really interesting and cool video now obviously people might might say well i live there and i can't make a cool music video well again you got to know what you want to look for and know what to shoot and what's a good backdrop and what'll look good on it you know you can't just shoot like you know anything anywhere like you got to make it make it cool you know and that's where why they call them the director of photography or cinematography because you know they know how to just give it that epic look and where to frame you and have you where you're performing and stuff so that's just something to think about but seriously location 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 has always made the biggest impact just something cool 
cool, something different. And so I encourage you to challenge to see what you can come up with. And again, it's not about having a huge budget as much as it is about just having a cool idea and a cool place to shoot. And obviously it being a good song. But let me just say this as well, because we were getting some grants for some of these back in the day. So we were shooting a lot because part of it was paid for or the majority of it was. But you can just get caught up in creating music videos and not really promoting them. And that's definitely what you don't want to do. Like you get a little high, a little ego boost, like, oh, I shot a music video. I shot a music video. And like you think, you know, you're cool or whatnot. And like, it's like a bit of an ego boost to you. But what is it really doing for your career unless you're promoting it? Okay. So whatever budget you have set aside to promote it or to make it, you better set aside at least twice that or at least match it to uh, promote it because you got to get it out there, man. You know, you didn't just spend all this time, all this money on the video and now you're just not going to promote it. What, you're just going to upload it to YouTube and Facebook and a couple of edits for Instagram, 60 second clips, and you're not going to promote it. Like that is your tool to get you more fans. Okay. And if you're going to invest in that tool, you better invest in marketing it and actually using it. Or honestly, it's an absolute waste of your time. Like if you're going to spend a thousand bucks, 2000 bucks, on uh, making that video, plus your time, plus your effort, your energy and everything else, you better spend at least 2000 promoting that thing. Or honestly, like, what are you doing? I can't even stress that enough. Oh my gosh, I, I did the same thing. It's just like, oh, I just make it and upload it and just expect people to find it. No, even though it's a music video, they're not just gonna find it. You need to hustle, 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 get that thing out there. You just spent thousands of dollars on it. You spent all this time and your outfit and your makeup and you know, everything else. Go promote it. Hey, we talk about stuff like this and I answer your questions at Fanbase University. If you are not a member, dude, come hang out with us, girl, guy, doesn't matter. Um, go to fanbaseuniversity.com and the next coaching call is on the 12th and 24th of every month. If you can't make it, just email us your questions and uh, I answer them live and I even say your name and then we transcribe it so that you can just go watch it afterwards and uh, get your question personally answered by me. Or if you show up on the call, I'll talk to you, I'll critique you right there, I'll look at your Facebook ad, I'll look at your press kit, your press release, whatever it is. I look at it, critique it, and give you uh, feedback just to help you. And so if you're looking for that more, you know, coaching, come join us, man. Come hang out. Hey, I want to remind you that a fighter isn't someone who never fails. A fighter is someone who never quits. So keep going for that dream. And please don't forget to comment, like, subscribe. Let me know that this is helping you out. Peace. Hey, thanks so much for listening. Make sure you hit that subscribe button and also leave a comment or a review and let me know how I've helped you or what other topics you want me to cover on this podcast. I always read them and it always inspires me to hear your story. And also, if you need more music marketing help or you just need more coaching or you need your questions answered in a deeper way, I have a coaching program called Fanbase University. Go to fanbaseuniversity.com to sign up because on the 12th, and 24th of every month I answer all your questions coaching my students plus you get access to exclusive video training on how to market your music and grow your fan base go to fanbaseuniversity.com and start your trial today and I look forward to helping you grow your career cheers